Hello people, my name is Kevin. Welcome to Wanna Watch a Movie. Thank you so much for joining me. Tonight I'm going to be watching the Arnold Schwarzenegger classic, Predator. Somehow I have not seen this movie before now, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm trying to think, what do I know about this before I get started? I know, obviously it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, I mean everybody knows that. I know there's an alien, I know what it, 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 I think it hunts people or something, it hunts anything not much beyond that i know there's a line that's like go get to the chopper and i heard that's pretty famous aside from that i really don't know much about it hang on let me look at the poster for this real quick predator soon the hunt will begin nothing like it has ever been on earth before it came for the thrill of the hunt it picked the wrong man to hunt yeah picked the scariest person ever the kindergarten cop it's a good movie. That's a good movie. That's a funny movie. Apparently, it's one of the, uh, this is one of, like, the, like, a staple of, like, sci-fi movies, so it's amazing to me that I haven't seen it before now, so I'm gonna remedy that tonight. Let's get started on it. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, all that. Um, if you want to contribute to the channel further, I got a link to my Patreon in the description below. If you like this kind of content, hop on over there. So without further ado, let's get started. Predator. It's a bit of an old one, 1987, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Predator. Ooh. Oh, that's like the spaceship. Carl Weathers is in this. We got Apollo Creed. Music by Alan Silvestri. Same guy that did the Avengers theme and everything. There he is. Is our guy, Terminator himself. Wait, was this before or after Terminator? Pretty sure it was after. I don't understand, like, where is this? Like, what's going on here? Just know a bunch of military looking guys just showed up in a helicopter. And with the aviator sunglasses and a cigar. Looking good, Dutch. It's been a long time, General. Dutch. 18 hours ago, we lost a chopper carrying a cabinet minister and his aide. We've got a transponder fix on their position, about here. So why don't you use the regular army? Because some damn fool accused you of being the best. Creed. Sorry, I'm never not gonna see him as Creed Dylan. from the Rocky movies. You son of a bitch. That's what that meme is from? This is what that meme is from? The CIA got you pushing too many pencils. Had enough? Uh, they are wrestling and... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I did know when to quit, huh? Damn good to see you, bitch. Oh, buddies. What about that little job you pulled off in Berlin? Good old days. How come you passed on Libya, huh? We a rescue team, not assassins. What do we gotta do? We pick up their trail at the chopper, run them down, grab those hostages, and bounce back across the border before anybody knows we were there. We all have our orders, Major. Oh, he's a Major. What is he, Army? Marines? Some kind of, like, Special Forces kind of thing? Or... Are they playing the music while this is... You know, you'd think they'd be, like, distracting or something. Like, I'd want to stay as focused as humanly possible if, uh, we're doing, like, a you know, helicopter rescue kind of mission or something like that. Oh, he caught it. Who's that backup? No such thing, old buddy. Once we cross that border, we're on our own. Not wild about that? What country are they in? Seriously. Did they say at the beginning and I just missed it? Yeah, dude, that wasn't funny. Like, that was just kind of a crappy joke about your girlfriend. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. What the f- What the fuck, dude? What is he even, like, passing around? Like, what is that, spit tobacco or something? Like, what is it? Yeah, it's spit tobacco. Oh, It's just fucking mean, dude. That's a real nasty habit you got there. Dude's kind of a dick. Smart. Are they gonna rappel down or something? I don't think I'd have the guts to do something like that, but I've always wanted to, like, do something like that. So the setup is just that, you know, they're deployed to, like, you know, go rescue a guy, and I'm guessing the, the alien predator thing gets in the way and starts killing people. What exactly are they looking for here? Like a hideout or something? Is that a helicopter? Are they gonna find their, uh, the cabinet minister in there, dead? Oh, 
I'm assuming this is a hard R kind of movie for like gore, Robocop levels of gore. I know it's 12 and 6, exactly. Maybe I missed it in the beginning, but seriously, where, where is this? Cause like, I want to say like Vietnam or Cambodia or something, maybe Africa, maybe, I don't know, Costa Rica, Guatemala, I don't know. Somewhere in the tropics, I know that for sure, but I don't know where exactly. I mean, where is this? Do you remember Afghanistan? I'm trying to forget it. Come on. You can get water? Oh shit, why does shit just go silent? I feel like something's about to jump out. Can I get a jump scare or something? What? Oh. 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 That's gross. Oh, there's like three of them. It's like someone, something skinned them alive. Oh my god, ugh. From Stranger Things? <laughs> it's a cop from Hawkins, Indiana doing here. <laughs> I know this man. Green Berets out of Fort Bragg. Now what the hell were they doing here? I don't know, Dutch. Maybe this is like, they knew that this predator thing is here and like, they're sending like the best soldiers they can to try to kill it or something. Shooting in all directions. I can't find a single track. Hell, it's like they just disappeared. We move. Five meter spread. No sound. Oh. Okay. What's that kind of gun again? It's called a Gatling gun or something? The thing with the six barrels. I'm guessing this is this is the thing. This is the predator. So it has like infrared vision or something. Oh shit! Speaking Russian. That was fast. There's that tripwire. How do you do this without making a sound? What is that for? Like, what's that doing? I see what he's doing. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Showtime, kid. Okay, dude, I mean, you don't know where they're keeping the hostages. I mean, you may have just killed them all right then and there. Again, you might have just killed the hostages. It's hard to really tell what's going on here. Like, it's hard to keep track of who's where and what's happening. It's a lot of cuts. What is up with the stormtrooper aim of all the bad guys here? Also, I haven't seen anyone like reload at any point. Like, what do you guys have? Infinite ammo clips or something? Uh, there's a corny, uh, corny line right there. Knock, knock. Yo. Any sign of the other hostage? He's dead too. From the looks of it, our cabinet minister was CIA. Other guys he waxed? Russian military advisors. How do you know that? Something pretty big was gonna happen here. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. Okay. You got time to duck? I ain't got time to bleed. Uh, you're gonna fucking die then, dude. You sell some! It's all bullshit. All of it. The cabinet minister, the whole business. We just stopped a major invasion. And what story did you hand to Hopper? Hopper's orders were to go in and get my men and he disappeared. He didn't disappear. He was skinned alive. So what, eight guys came in here and killed like, what, 50 people? An asset. An expendable asset. And I used you to get the job done. Got it. She goes with us. She's too valuable. She's your baggage. You fall behind and you're on your own. Yeah, I'm wondering where the alien here enters into the mix. This is too hot for a pickup. They won't touch us till we get over the border. The only way out of here is that valley that leads to the east. I wouldn't wish that on a broke dig dog. What? Not much choice. Pancho, take lead. 
Double time it. Why you choose now to start smoking a cigar? Oh. Thanks. That was close. Anytime. She said, why did you say that twice? I said I didn't because of the echo. I don't like that guy. <laughs> Where is it even washing them from? The trees? They're really building the suspense with this thing. I haven't seen what it looks like. And we're like more than a half hour into this. Still don't know what it looks like, only seen. It's like clicking and buzzing things, like really creepy too. Oh, it picked up the scorpion. The woman that they're taking with them, is she ever, are they ever gonna name her or anything? Cause I'd hate to just refer to her as the woman. I don't really know what I was expecting with this movie, but it wasn't this so far. Come on, sweetheart, stop sandbagging it. Now get up. Get up. Nilo and Tentes. Maybe you better put her on a leash, Agent Man. This may sound harsh, but I hate everybody here so far. How long before we actually see the alien? Schwarzenegger's arms. Maybe its arms are like bigger than my skull or something. What's got Billy so spooked? I hope she doesn't die. The woman hopes she doesn't die. I have a feeling a lot of people can die. What is it? There's something in those trees. Oh, they're looking right at it. This is not gonna end well. Alright, here it comes. Please! No, oh, crap. Wait, what? Oh, it's like invisible. They gonna think she did it? Wait, how many people are on their, are on this team anyway? Because that was one down right there. What the? This isn't her blood. What the hell did you do to him? Did you find Hawkins? I can't tell. Okay, now the real fear is starting to set in. They are being hunted now. She says the jungle. It just came alive and took him. Bullshit! Why didn't they take his radio? Or his weapon? Why didn't she escape? Yeah, can't be human. They did the same thing to Jim Hopper. On Hawkins' body found. The Russians. Is this gonna turn into a no man left behind kind of a thing? Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the valor and you know, the honor in that and everything, but if it's a choice between either escaping with your life or no man left behind, escape with your life. And that is a python. Oh, gonna see a... Uh, Hawkins body. Hawkins! <laughs> I just realized Hawkins. Oh. Okay, that's gross. I call it a gut feeling, but I think he's gonna be the next to go. Come on in. All painless is waiting. <laughs> oh. Jeez, dude, don't waste all your ammo. You don't even know what you're shooting at. Wasting all of your ammo, guys. And also giving away your position to anyone that's following you. Why is it called a minigun? It's a pretty fucking huge gun. Ugh. The wounds all fused, cauterized. What the hell could have done this to a man? Not a thing. No blood, no bodies. We have nothing. Yeah, he just wasted several thousand rounds of ammunition on nothing. Because you know what? Didn't know what you were shooting at. Or is that its blood? Vamanos. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that she's gonna be the one that saves their asses. I set up flares. Braggs and claim was. Nothing's coming near this place without chipping on something. Not on foot, at least. He was a good soldier. He was, uh... Kind of an asshole. My friend. That's it. So this is a survival mission now. Just get out alive. Goodbye, bro. 
Oh. Oh, now we get to finally see it. They say we're still in 2 4 and they can't risk coming in after us. Who get us today? I um, I only saw one of them camouflaged. Nothing on this earth could have lived. Not at that range. Ask her what happened to Hawkins. Hawkins, Jim Hopper. Sorry. I'm just gonna keep making Stranger Things references. ¿Qué más que te diga? She says the same fucking thing. The jungle that came alive and took him. I'm scared, Pancho. Bullshit. You ain't afraid of no man. There's something out there waiting for us, and it ain't no man. Is this guy Native American or something? We're all gonna die. Yep. There's nothing but a couple of guys running around out there. We killed Hopper, and now it wants us. Oh, and now it's nighttime. This isn't gonna go well, is it? Something bigger? Yeah, <laughs> it's a warthog, I think. Wayne's body was gone. Oh shit. Came in through the tripwires. Still haven't gotten that good of a look at this thing yet. Like not beyond a glimpse or anything. He's killing us one at a time. Like a hunter. Like a predator. He's using the trees. What did you see? You're wasting your time. I don't know what it was. It changed colors. Like the chameleon. You saying that Blaine and Hawkins were killed by a fucking lizard? <laughs> What's your name? Anna. What the hell do you think you're doing? We make a stand now, where there will be nobody left to go to the chopper. There is something else. You must have wounded it. Blood was on the leaves. If it bleeds, we can kill it. That's optimistic. Like an hour into this, there's still like a, another 45 ish minutes left. <clears throat> Are they doing trying to build a trap or something? This boy scout bullshit's gonna work. Instead of complaining, maybe you should help. You can see the tripwires, but it... Wow, these guys are really fucking buff. Oh, you're gonna cover it so it doesn't see it. So you're just gonna wait for it. Please don't tell me they're gonna, like, bait it with one of them or something. Makes you think he's gonna come in through here. There are tripwires on every tree for 50 yards. This is the only way in. When I was little, we found a man butchered. El Diablo Cazador de Hombres. Only in the hottest years this happens. And this year it grows hot. El que hace trofeos de los hombres means the demon who makes trophies of man. Might have been useful to know that earlier. So what are you gonna try next, cheese? Just gonna try to bait it. Gonna jump out, isn't it? Oh, it broke out of it. Oh, f oh! I gotta say, gotta say the invisible effect on it, like didn't age very well. Don't go face it on your own. Hold it, Dutch. I'm going after Mac. It's not your style, Dylan. Guess I picked up some bad habits from you. Now get your people the hell out of here. Oh, I can make it. Get the radio. Forget the rest. Oh. Mac, dude, don't be stupid. I know you want revenge and all, dude. But come on. What the hell was that? Over here. Oh, it's the speech that it recorded from before. Damn it. He's gonna die, isn't he? Bastardry. I got a score to settle. Both got scores to settle. I don't know, dude, it has like alien weaponry and everything. It makes you think this little maneuver you're gonna try is even gonna work. Oh. Crap, that's it. Ah, uh, damn it. Ooh. Ugh. Leave it! He didn't kill you because you weren't armed. No sport. How'd you figure that out? It's a watching game, isn't it? <sighs> he's gonna die. Yep, he's gonna die. And he knows it. Oh. Poor Dylan. Damn, man. Shut. Billy, let's go. What fuck are you doing, man? Oh. Dude, what are you doing? Ah. Oh. oh, 
only three left. Oh, uh, there's that line. Did this really? Oh, uh, did this really end with with him dying? Escape uh, all of this crap only to drown. I mean, that would be a very shit way to die. Not that there were non shit ways to die. There's still like a good half hour left of this movie. Like, I really don't see a way out for the for the two of them that are left. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh, his face is getting a really good look at it now. Maybe the mud will mask him enough that I won't see him. Yeah, that's not how infrared vision works at all. Is he gonna figure it out? Like it's heat. He couldn't see me. He'd have to keep like covering himself in mud over and over again to make sure that his body temperature doesn't run it's too high. If he's wounded, I mean, he has to be wounded and everything. Like, getting that, getting his wound, like, covered in mud and everything, I mean, that's gotta be dangerous, like, as far as, like, the infection goes. I mean, yeah, he has bigger problems now, but, you know, that's still uh, something that might kill him. Another trap. Oh. Oh, that is disgusting. Making a bone out. Oh. Disassembling the grenades or something. It's like collecting skulls. Being covered in mud this much must have either been like really fun for Arnold Schwarzenegger or it must have been just incredibly uncomfortable. I imagine it was uncomfortable. Cause like this isn't like a one day shoot kind of a thing. Like this is gonna be like multiple days of stuff. Fire to draw them. Okay, Tarzan. We're trying to create so much like heat that it confuses it. The captions that I have here, it says faint wickering. Like, what is that sound supposed to be? Like the onomatopoeia of it, wickering. Oh shit. Right there. How can I not see him? Cool mud on your body, sure that'll lower your body temperature a little bit, but not for long. I think he's gonna get out of this alive, but honestly, I'm not too sure. Oh, the glowing blood. Don't follow it into a cave, man. You're putting yourself at a disadvantage here. His eyes like that, like. Uh that was close. Oh, that's gonna wash off the mud. The fact that he isn't dead right now is a goddamn miracle. Whoa. Oh no, sorry man, you're dead. Just got slammed against a rock, you're dead, man. That's a massive concussion at least right there, you're dead. What is it doing? Why did it let him go? Why not just kill him? You know, is it like taking off some mask or something? 
Dude, you can't fight this thing. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead after just that. Is your skull made of, like, diamond or something, man? That killed you. Oh. Dude, you're dead. You're dead. You're just dead. I'm sorry, man, but why, why is this movie even pretending that he stands a chance? Come on, get to that trap thing you made, man. Quickly, quickly. Ugh. Do it! Kill me! I'm here! Kill me! Oh, he's not that stupid. Kill me! <laughs> that one finally did it? It's still alive, isn't it? Yep. Dude, why are you suddenly feeling? remorse or sympathy for it, man. I mean, kill it, kill it now, kill it quickly. What the hell are you? Just kill it, just kill it, just kill it, dude, before it does some shit. Self-destruct? <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was like like a mini nuke or something. How do you get over how do you get past this kind of trauma? This is gonna need some serious therapy. Oh, it's over. Hawkins. Poncho, Hawkins, Billy, Blaine. Mac. Anna. She's really pretty. Dylan. Dutch. There's only nine characters. There's only nine named characters in this entire thing. Kevin Peter Hall as the Predator. I was wondering who, who, who was who's actually behind the mask there. Must be a pretty tall guy. Okay. Okay. That was good. Okay. Try to figure out how I feel about this. On one hand, this was a pretty good, uh, like, horror sci-fi film. I mean, the plot, was, the plot of it was pretty straightforward. Bunch of commandos in a jungle for X, Y, for whatever reason. Hunted by this thing, so it picks them off one by one. Gotta get out alive till one is left. Hero makes his escape. Against the against all odds, manages to escape. Pretty straightforward plot, I guess. But, like, how do I say this? I don't want to say this without sounding, because I know there are probably people out there who really enjoy these movies, who are like big fans of the Predator movie. But like, I didn't really care about the characters very much. Like the characters didn't really, I mean aside from a little bit of like, you know, a little bit of an old friendship between Dylan and Dutch, there really wasn't much, and between Mac and, uh, what was his name, Blaine? I didn't really care about the characters very much. They really didn't do or say much to like, you know, make you like them. There was no, there was never a moment where like, hey, look at this picture of my family, or um, the family I got back home, or um, talking about like a fond memory or anything. I mean, all it was was just, you know, that one dude making the bad jokes about his girlfriend. I didn't really care about the characters very much, so like when they each died, I didn't like feel anything. I didn't feel like, you know, I didn't feel like, oh no, I'm so sad that he died. I just felt like, okay, he's dead now, and then... But then again, I guess the main event isn't really... You don't come to this movie to see for the characters that the Predator kills. You, you're there for the Predator. You're there to see the alien. And the alien was creepy as hell. And like, just the like little mandible things that it has. It's like, ugh. And I'm guessing a lot of that was practical effects and everything, which I appreciate, which is really cool. I, I've always thought that practical effects are nine times out of 10, they're better than like CGI effects. Also, I kind of lied at the beginning. There was one other thing I knew about this franchise. I know that there's this new movie out called Prey that apparently a lot of people really like. I've seen like stuff about it on Tumblr and like people really enjoyed it. I guess that's part of the reason why I'm watching this. I kind of want to like see what the hype is about. I also know that I just looked it up. Uh, I also know that there's a uh, 
bit more to the franchise. I know that there's a Predator 2, there's Predators, and there's THE Predator. Alien vs. Predator, and Alien vs. Pre Aliens vs. Predator for Requiem. I don't know if any of those are worth watching, but just based on like IMDb scores, it looks like the only one good one is Prey, which just came out. I don't know if I watched the, I don't know if I watched the other ones, but... I think I'll definitely watch Prey. If you, uh, if the others are worth watching, maybe leave a comment uh, below and like say which one, say if they're good or not. Like tell me what you think if you see them. Overall, I gotta think. What would I give this? What would I give this? I mean, I, I kind of went into it knowing what I know, kind of knowing what to expect. You know, it's a movie called Predator, and it's I know it's an alien, so I assume that like you know all of these people are going to die. Grizzly in grizzly ways. I feel like the film kind of suffers a little bit just from a pretty thin plot and like pretty thin characterization. But then again, I, I get that that's not what the movie's about. You know what? I'll be I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven. Uh, seven out of ten stars. Not sure I'd rewatch it though, just because like I don't know, just not my kind of film. You know, it doesn't really seem like a very rewatchable movie for me. You know what I mean? But you know, if I'm wrong, argue with me in the comments. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I'm uh, not sure what I'm going to watch next. Probably like something from the 90s or something. I realized the last couple of movies I've done was... Uh, I did Taxi Driver yesterday, which is a 70s. And then I did uh, Predator here, which is an 80s movie. Maybe I'll do something from the 90s next. Thank you again for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. This is still a new channel and every little bit helps. It really helps a lot. Thank you. If you want to help the channel out further, if you want to contribute, um, to this also so you know i can make money off of this uh you can join my patreon i got a link in the description below i got access to all of, a lot of other content you get early access to my videos you get early ac you get access to my full length reactions i can vote in polls to see what i vote i watch next and uh you get access to a discord server where you can chat with me about movies if you want and a whole bunch of other stuff thank you so much for watching and as usual there's more stuff coming soon so i will see you then Later.